Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Muhammad and in this video we will learn about Azure ARM templates. ARM or Azure Resource Manager is a deployment and management service for Azure. This service provides a management layer that enables you to create, update and delete resources in your Azure account. It is a consistent management layer. What does that mean? It means when we send a request from any of the Azure tools, APIs or SDKs, Azure Resource Manager receives that request. It authenticates and authorizes the request and then it sends the request to the relevant Azure service, which takes the requested action. Because all the requests are handled through the same API, that's why we get consistent results and capabilities in all the different tools. That's why we call this layer to consistent management layer. The main benefits of Azure Resource Manager APIs are we can deploy several resources together in a single unit and deployments are at impotent. The resources that the ARM API manages in Azure, such as network card, virtual machines, hosted databases, etc., are objects. And we can declare these objects in a simple JSON file, and that JSON file is called ARM template. So we can say ARM template is a way to declare the objects you want, the types, names, and properties in a JSON file. The template file can be checked in into source control. It means it can be managed like any other code file. But remember the maximum template file size will be one meg and the maximum size for the parameter file is 64 KB. We will talk about parameter files later in detail. So you will be using the same format for all of your template JSON files. As this is JSON file, it will start with open curly bracket, it will end with close curly bracket. And in any ARM template, we will have some of these or all of these members. Some of these means because some are compulsory or mandatory part of ARM templates and some are optional. So based on your um, design, you will have all or some. So let's explore these in a little bit more detail. So the first one we have is schema. The schema defines the location of the JSON schema. It is a required member. So you always have to pass in your ARM template. If you are using VS code, with the Azure Resource Manager Tools extension, you can use the latest version which you can find on this address. Other editors, including VS Studio, may not be able to process this schema. So for those editors, you can use this old version. The next one we have is Content Version. This is a version of the template such as 1.0.0.0 but remember you no need to pass that in this or any other format you can provide any value for this element it is a required member so you always have to pass in your ARM template though Azure does not use this value but you can use this value to document significant changes in your template. And when deploying resources using the template, this value can be used to make sure that the right template is being used. Next one, we have API profile. An API profile is an API version that serves as a collection of API versions for resources types. So if we have more than one resources in our ARM template, so instead of adding 
um, on each resource what you can do you can declare that version on top level so use this value to avoid having to specify api versions for each resource in the template it is not a required member it's optional next we have parameters parameters are values that are provided when deployment is executed to customize resource deployment for example dev or um, production environment parameters etc again not require member next we have variables so like other programming languages in ARM templates we can declare variables variables allow you to specify one value that will be used in all instances with within the template such as for your network or virtual machines etc it is not required member as well next we have functions functions are user defined functions that are available within the template and this is not required member as well next we have resources which is the main part of every ARM template resources define the sources that are to be deployed it is a required member the last one we have outputs so outputs specify what is to be returned and then you can put this value to another command if you wish it is not required member as well so these are all the members which you can have in your ARM templates so after populating these members your template template will look like this one I know this looks a little bit scary but trust me it is not that hard and I will be showing you how easy it is to create a, a new ERM template or using existing templates and customizing them for your needs when we create an ARM template how you define templates and resource groups is entirely up to you and how you want to manage your solutions for example if you want to deploy a three-tier application where you have database virtual machine and uh, uh, web app etc what you can do you can create a simple one uh, ARM template and in that template you can add all three resources and when you will deploy that template it will create the all required resources under um, same resource group but if you think oh adding everything in one single uh, template will make the template more complex what you can do you can create all resources in separate templates so you can use these nested templates in parent template and when you will deploy that parent template again you will get same result if you think oh you want to create the resources but you don't want to create uh, into a same resource group so that they will not share the same life cycle you can do again same thing but instead of calling them into parent template you can run these templates individually and they will create all resources and then they will put all resources in their relevant resource group so you see that it is quite flexible you can design in your own way So after um, designing and uh, creating your end template, you need to deploy that uh, uh, template. There are several methods that you can use to deploy templates within Azure. The first is actually using um, Azure portal. Second one is PowerShell. And if you feel more comfortable with CLI, you can use CLI command line interface or you can use rest apis and also you can deploy directly from github 
and your own repository. When you deploy a template, resource manager converts the template into REST APIs operations that thing happen in back end. So we will create an ARM template. We will deploy that template and that will go to um, ARM APIs and ARM API will convert that template into REST API operations and will call the relevant Azure services and those services will perform the action. When we deploy any ARM templates, we can choose one of the following two uh, update mods. Either we can choose complete update or incremental update. If we will choose complete update to deploy an ARM template, remember any resources that are in the template but are not in the resource group will be created. Any resources in the template that have updated settings will be updated in the resource group as well. If the resources has the same settings, it, uh, it is not going to be reprovised. A complete update will delete all the resources in the resource group that are not identified in that template. On the other hand, if you will use incremental update, resources identified in the template but does not um, exist in the resource group will be created. Again, resources that uh, have updated settings in the template will be reprovised to your resource group as well. If the resources has the same setting, again, they will be ignored. This is the different point. So remember, resources in the resource group are not deleted if that resource is not in the template. So in case of complete update, they will be deleted. But for the incremental update, they will not be deleted. So remember this difference. So when we will deploy ARM template, we can choose how we want to deploy either with complete update or with incremental update. In real life, sometime maybe you come up with the situation where you have to decide uh, to using ARM template or any other um, solution. So for that kind of situation, remember there are several benefits you will get if you will use ARM templates. The first benefit is that the syntax to create ARM template is declarative. So you can uh, create and deploy even an entire Azure infrastructure declaratively. When you will deploy any ARM template, repeatedly you will get a consistent result. Next is orchestration means you don't have to worry about the complexities of ordering operations. Everything will be handled by ARM API. Create any Azure resource when somebody or any um, provider uh, release new service, sometimes it takes time to appear that service in Azure portal. Even it take up to 180 days. So if you use ARM template, you no need to wait for that time period. As soon as somebody will release a new service, you can use that service uh, by using ARM template. Extensibility in ARM template, not only you can just uh, create resources with those templates, you can add PowerShell and Bash scripts to your templates as well. When you will uh, try to create um, an Azure ARM template, you can test that to just make sure if that follows recommended guideline. To test that there is ARM template toolkit available. Not only you can test uh, that uh, template, even you can preview the changes. You can use what if operation to preview the changes even before deploying the template. After making sure, when you will try to deploy ARM template, again 
built-in validation will be performed before deploy on ARM uh, API side as well. So your deployment is less likely to stop in a half finish state. Next one is track deployment. When you will deploy an ARM template, after that you can log in into your Azure portal and you can review the development uh, deployment history and get information about the template uh, deployment. So after deploying ARM template in the Azure portal, you can log in and you can review the deployment history and get information about the template deployment. You can check that which kind of parameters you have used, how template will look like, which kind of resources that template has been created. Next one is deployment blueprints. To create a new uh, ARM template, there are many blueprints are available provided by Microsoft or, and many pre-built templates for various architectures are available as well. So you can use these just to make sure that your new template uh, meet the regulatory and compliance standards or even you can use pre-built templates as they are or you can customize them according to your requirement and you can use them. Next one is uh, uh, you can integrate your ARM template into CI-CD integration which can automate your release pipeline for fast and reliable application infrastructure update. Next one is uh, exportable code. This is a really cool thing. So not only you can create uh, uh, your ARM template by declaring them in JSON file files. Um, with that, even you can create your ARM template from your already deployed resources. So you can get a template for an existing resource group by either exporting the current state of the resource group or viewing the template used for a particular deployment. There are many authoring tools available, especially I will mention VL Studio Code because with VL Studio Code, you can get IntelliSense, in text highlighting, inline help, and many other language functions, which will help you to create ARM templates. In addition to VL Studio Code, you can also use VL Studio as well. In this video, we covered introduction of Azure ARM templates. If you have question related to any of the topics we covered in this video, just please put in comments section and I will answer as soon as possible. In next video, we will learn that how we can create Azure ARM templates by using more than one methods. For example, by using Azure portal, by using VS code, etc. Also in next video, I will show you that how we can set up VS code for Azure ARM templates development and I will introduce you the best extensions we can use with VS code for Azure ARM templates development. So please subscribe the channel so that you will get the next video. Till then, have a good time and bye bye.